So you spoke about neutrality in arbitration. Just how important is that in arbitration? I do think it's the most important thing because when you choose to go to arbitration, the great thing about it is a choice. And obviously you want to go to some place and be heard by people who are neutral. Obviously some uh, people might like to know um, that the arbitration terminal is in their favor, but that's not very realistic. So most people will want to have a neutral place. How do you ensure neutrality? I think it, you don't. You can't just sell it. It's you, it's like respect. You earn it. Um, it's come with your history. It comes with the way you conduct business and the way you deal with legal affairs. And and you can't just invent neutrality for arbitration. It must be in your DNA. And I think that is the thing which is. Um, real about Mauritius is because we are African without being part of Africa. And we have had this history of being having to deal with uh, different um, legal, legal cultures. And because we're an island, we are bound to look from to outside. So neutrality is not a choice for us. Neutrality is a necessity. Nicely put. Now, as a practicing lawyer here on the ground in Mauritius, how excited are you that you know the country is sort of emerging as this bridge between um, Africa and Asia, and also with the possibility that Mauritius it could be the come the hub, you know, for arbitration in Africa? I'm more scared than excited, to be <laughs> honest, because I'm very worried of disappointment and of promises which are not kept. Um, as you say, we are we are ambitious and we make no secret about it. But then our discourse is creating expectations. And you just heard how things take time and we'll have teething problems. And also, but you are selling Mauritius now and we still have issues to deal with. And I'm afraid that we don't get up to speed as a legal profession soon enough. And I'm... As a past chairman of the Mauritius Bar Association, I'm also quite sad that we, the buy-in has not has, has been as much as I would have liked from the legal profession, the local legal profession, to make sure that we were um, out there showing what we can do. And because without being falsely modest, I think there's a very uh, wide range of young legal professional which has a lot to offer right now in terms of support uh, for more seasoned uh, international practitioners, but also who are willing to make of uh, arbitration their specialty. Thank you for that honest response. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Same to you.